Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with SoloLearn.com, Everyone Can Code. This is Introduction to C++ Programming Part 11. So let me go ahead and sign in here and we'll, we can get started. So I'm going to sign in with Facebook. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back into C++. Let's open up the course and uh, let, it, let it load up. <coughs> So we're on conditionals and loops. Uh, we're on using a while loop. That'll be this lesson. So uh, pretty short, but let's look at it. So it says using increment or decrement. The increment or decrement operators can be used to change values in the loop. For example, int num equals one. Okay, we're setting it to one. We're saying while it's less than six, then um, go through this and increase the num and do this until it just meets the condition, until it results in a Boolean of false. Okay. So, and again, num plus plus is the same as num is equal to the value of num plus one, and then you store, store that back into num. So, fill in the blanks to print x's values from one to five. Increment x's value using the incrementation operator. So, say while x is less than or equal to five, x plus plus. All right, cool. Uh, next up, using a while loop. A loop can be used to obtain multiple inputs from the user. Let's create a program that allows the user to enter a number five times each time storing the input in a variable. So here we have int num equals one, and then we have int number, and we say, well, number is less than or equal to five, okay, then remember this, this is like getting input, this is like a raw input, or a console.read line if you're familiar with C sharp. <coughs> we're storing the value in number, or yeah, we're storing whatever value they, um, uh, whatever value, uh, Let's see, hold on, let me, let me look at this code. And each time saves the input in the number variable, right? Okay, so yeah, that's what that's what's happening. Um, number is gonna be set each time to one, to two, to three, to four, to five. All right, cool. So fill in the blanks to allow users to enter a value using CIN, uh, the command line input, and store it into the, um, or the console input, and store it into the number variable five times. So we'll say while X is less than five, we'll say CIN number, and we'll increment X. Cool. And finally, using a while loop, now let's modify our code to calculate the sum of the numbers the user has entered. So same thing, we're storing the value in number, and then we're incrementing our total, which is like a sum, by that number. And then finally, we're printing out the total at the end. So the code above adds the numbers entered by the user to the total variable with each loop iteration. Once the loop stops executing, the value of total is printed. This value is the sum of all the numbers the user has entered. Note that the variable total has an initial value of zero. Cool, and then it's obviously being incremented every time. So, fill in the blanks to enter five numbers from the user and print their sum. Store the sum in a variable named total. So we'll say while x is less than or equal to five, okay, then we're gonna say um, CNT, or sorry, CI, uh, console input CNT is equal to uh, total, plus the number, uh, or sorry, sorry, total is equal to total plus the number. And then finally, we're gonna print out total on this line. Make sure we got that right, cool. All right, guys, so that was it for using a while loop part 11 here on Solo Learn Introduction to C++ Programming. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot, so thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.